Right. I have a four channel going into the Dayton DSP in the 2017 F-150. Which channel should I map to the output to my sub amplifier? Do the low resistors need to be added, even if I use a DSP? I have a Ford F-150. I'm going high level out of my factory radio. So that's gonna be four channel out into a DSP. We'll just say that to keep it civil. What channel should I map to feed my subwoofer? So when you're setting up a DSP, you have to tell it, like you have six channels out, eight channels out, whatever you have, you have to say channel seven and eight need to look to channels inputs one and two in order to feed it the signal. Cause it doesn't know. That's part of the process of setting up a DSP. In the F-150, use channels one and two to map into the sub channel. Those two are gonna have the, the widest frequency response, meaning they're gonna, they're gonna play lower than they do in the rear. Uh, the rear does have high pass crossover on it, stopping them from playing deep because it's a smaller speaker. So you want to use the front speakers as the feed for the subwoofers. The second part of the question was, should I use load resistors on my F-150? And the answer to that is yes. Yeah. Pick up a set of AC LGD blues. You have to have them or you could roast your tweeters. Not anything you'll hear, but your tweeters know what's happening and you're silently cooking them to death. But okay, hope that answers that question.